Well, 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 if it's not the worst and ugliest premium I've ever seen in World of Tank Blitz. Bonjour everyone, Pentouf here today for a new video in which we are gonna hit really hard our wallet because it seems like Wargaming cooked on another tank in crates for us. It's a tier 8, it's based on the M6O and it's called the M45. M4Y, sorry. It's coming with a really cool camo with what seems to be a cube of diesel or something like that at the end. And well, even if it's not historical, at least it goes with the theme that we have during this month, which is Halloween. The main particularity of the tank, beside the fact that it's coming in crates, is the fact that there is an offer in the shop for 100 euros, in which you will get 25 crates to open, plus 5 collect them all containers. And you probably know how it works. We have five collect them all we have 25 m45 uh, containers m4y i really struggle with this and what we want to do boys is to get lucky enough to either get the tank within those 25 crates because you need to collect 30 charms to get the tank which is horrific and of course when we will do that if we manage to get the tank one time during those containers i'm gonna give away one if we get two it's two three etc etc so let's see how much of a rape this is going to be for my wallet Let's roll. So let's see how it goes for us. 25 containers. Let's roll. Maybe if we are lucky enough, we are going to get it on the first crate and I'm going to cry. Okay, we got the camouflage in 1.5 giggle. What is the drop chance of the camo? 6%? Okay, it seems like on the first crate we got quite lucky. I'm down for it, Wargaming. I'm down for it. As long as, as the end, uh, at the end you give me the tank. Let's, let's just roll. Let's see what they cooked for me. For the moment, it seems to be a little bit difficult because we got like 2,000 gold and we are getting all of those uh, multiplied by 5 experience that I don't care of. Wargaming, I do not care about that. This is not what interests me. What I want is to be able to put my hands on the mighty reward! Boo! On the 6th grade! Thank you, Wargaming. Just spent 100 euros knowing that it would only have cost me around 20. Yay! Wargaming as usual. But maybe we're gonna get it again, the stalker camouflage. How is it possible that I'm so lucky? Like, in 7 crates, I got 2 times to camouflage. I got the tank. How many times are we gonna get the tank, though? How many times? Uh, wow. Is, is there something broken about the camouflage for it to have this kind of drop rate i'm kind of curious to know if it's really its drop rate or if wargaming maybe made a mistake okay now give me gold wargaming i don't care anymore about the tank i got it now it's time for me to get some gold okay 100 i'm getting totally destroyed by those crates come on ah, certificate for 28,000 free xp would be good if i didn't already have 6 million Come on, we're gaming. Okay, let's keep rolling. Maybe we're going to be able to get it a second time. Oh, every time there are four stuff popping out of the crate, I'm always thinking, oh, that's it. That's the M4. I'm going to get it. And no, all the time I'm getting, uh, I'm getting disappointed. Come on. Oh. Okay, it seems like I was quite lucky on my roll getting the M4Y in uh, in the first 7th grade because right now we didn't get any single one of them again. Oh boy, come on. Nothing. Oh, please be gentle while they're gaming. Not for me, but for my community after all. I'm gonna give it back to you boys. No. Three. Come on. We're gonna get it. It's gonna happen, boys. It's gonna happen. <sighs> Come on. Last one. Last one. Last one. More gaming. Ah, one time it's gonna happen. One time in my life I will be able to get one within the last crate. It's my duty. It's my quest, boys. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. After playing it a couple of battles, uh, gotta be fair, I truly enjoy the fact that this autoloader is truly different than the others, because unlike many if not all autoloaders in this game, the reload intra clip is long, but the reload extra clip, so the reload to uh, reload pretty much every single shelf on your magazine, is really fast, sitting at 13 seconds. So let's see how this renders in battle, and let me give you the possibility of winning one. So here we are on mines with the mighty tank, and to be fair with you, I'm not gonna bother explaining to you how you can win the game, uh, the tank, sorry. I'm just gonna put some indication on screen right now. Now we're gonna focus a little bit on the playstyle because obviously one of you lucky boys is going to win one of these. 
and of course if you don't know how to play it it's quite useless so what do you want to do this thing is actually effectively armored yes you do have a cupola but once you know how to deal with it and learn that you need to uh, go backward frontward backward frontward move a little bit to avoid getting penetrated in the cupola everything should be fine for you so how is it supposed to be played quite simple you only show your turret to your opponents which is exactly what you are currently doing maximum points if you have a position from which you can hide your cupola which is my case here because that little slope of the mountain is hiding this little and freaking big cupola let's be fair so let's roll let's see if we can attack them hard of course even if it seems like we have a traditional gun because uh, getting 310 alpha damage for seven seconds of reload is pretty normal specifically for an american heavy tank we are not gonna try stupid things like pushing we are not meant for pushing at all we are meant for some support and always make sure that the rest of my teammates are with me if you do not do that i feel like you are probably gonna get destroyed quite easily so now let's jump into what seems to be the last chance of the target to to retreat so how are we gonna do this we sneak a couple of shells in the boy and there is nothing he can do we are literally ripping apart everything that makes it a good tank therefore it's not a profile because as i'm an auto loader i equipped it with calibrated shell which means that my penetration with gold shell is just broken and this allowed me to sneak four shell straight into the tiger whereas this guy only managed to get a couple of bounces to be fair with you it might not be the greatest tank ever but the replay and gameplay of the tank is so original the play style that i really enjoy it at the moment this is the only tank i'm playing in world of tank blitz and it's probably going to be the only tank i'm about to play for multiple multiple times so there we go we are doing the job we are gonna kill that tiger and as you can see there is nothing that can restrain us from getting that boy i mean we had the support of our team in the back we had uh, the enemies just sitting literally in front of my gun all the time and all of those things combined allowed me to just get this freaking good game sitting at 3000 damage and nearly 1000 damage bounce it's cool to see that out of the yo line it's probably one of the most well armored one and it definitely shows in many many battles in my opinion even if it's not and definitely not a tank worth 100 euros like wargaming put it in the shop it's still something you need to try out and this is why i'm gonna give you thanks to amazon the possibility of winning one because yeah guys you deserve such a threat so may the best win and hopefully for you i'm gonna see you soon for a new amazon video don't forget to subscribe to their channel because there are many many prices on many many different games to win and i'm gonna see you soon for a new video bye